is Tyra Stark and welcome back to Tyra Stark TV where we talk about all things faith, lifestyle, marriage, and more. I am Tyra Stark obviously and so today is Monday and it is time for our weekly Bible study that I do here on my channel and it's just a short like 15 minute Bible study to get you all just encouraged for the week and I'm super excited about this one because it has been heavy in my spirit literally since the last bible study that i did and god has had this in my spirit and i've literally been living through it and a lot of times it is hard to minister to god's people when you are going through the exact same thing that you are ministering about so needless to say we're going to talk a little bit too about joyce meyer's book do it afraid towards the end um, well as i'm talking because um, I'm reading that book as well and it has been so so helpful in this weeks that I have been living <laughs> and I've read this book before but my god years ago but the season that I am in now it is even more evident in my life and I just wanted to share a little snippet of what really encouraged me so today we are going to be talking about doing it afraid if you follow me on Instagram I have posted little snippets here and there but of course my youtube subscribers get all of it and so i'm super excited about what god is doing so if you are in a season where you are being asked by god to do something crazy ridiculous outrageous then i really encourage you to just continue to keep watching so let's get started we're going to be coming from joshua 1 today we're going to start off with the sixth verse very unfamiliar passage be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. I'm going to jump down to verse 9 where it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And in this scripture, in this passage, we are in the book of Joshua. Joshua has taken the mantle from Moses. Moses has passed away. Um, and, and now it is up to Joshua to lead the Israelites to the land that God has promised them. And so <laughs> we know those Israelites, honey, they was complaining a lot <laughs> during their duration of traveling okay and that's why Moses could not see the promised land however a younger leader God has chosen for this very hour to bring the Israelites out so I'm always so let me just kind of back up a little bit recently and I believe many of you are out here like this where God has told us to do something that just seems really crazy it seems really outrageous we're like, God, get somebody else to do it or it's something that we don't want to do. And so this is why today's message is titled Do It Afraid. And I, God really put Joshua in my spirit to start off with because it's basically an instruction guide before Joshua even does what he needs to do. Right. So I, imagine yourself, your mentor has passed away and Moses was his mentor. And now all eyes on you. Okay, like all that, like um, Joshua, what are we gonna do? It's up to you to lead the people. And so, I can just, even though he was tr like training for it and he was around with Moses, and but now it's his time. So, you ever been in the background for a long time and all of a sudden now God is calling you to be out in the forefront and you're like, whoa, why? <laughs> Guess why me? So, here we have Joshua in this very situation and so it says after the death of moses the lord called to joshua it is your time and so god is giving him a pep talk what i like to call it a pep talk because what he has joshua to do is going to require a lot of faith and it's going to require a lot of obedience and maybe you are in this season where you are being called by god to do something that is out of the norm and you have, you have two choices, to obey or to disobey. <laughs> I'm praying that you choose the obedience part. And a lot of times we let fear jump in the way 
of us from obeying God. Oh, this is too much for you to ask for me. I don't want to do this. Or why are you asking me to do this when I want to do this route? We're human. We do it. I have done it. Even being consistent on this YouTube channel has what is me finally being obedient. God put me in a place where I could not be disobedient anymore. I was making up every excuse. I was supposed to be been doing videos and being consistent on YouTube since January of this year. I kept making excuse after excuse. Oh, I'm working out of school and by the time I get home, those kids just wear me out. I'm tired. Um, and then I got pregnant and I really didn't feel like doing anything. I got pregnant. I found out we were pregnant like end of January. And then I just didn't really feel well. And so I'm just making excuses. I'm busy. I don't feel like it. My own husband would try to encourage me to film something, take out my phone and film something. And I did not want to do it. I was being rebellious. <laughs> I was being rebellious. If I would have been obedient, then no telling how far I would be, you know, with my ministry now you know what i'm saying um and so the, but the enemy plants fear in my head i'm like no nobody want to see me you know do vlogs or do bible studies on youtube you know and just making excuses instead of just obeying reason and so i was letting deep down though fear control me even with me applying to news stations even with me um trying to get my teacher certificate certificate certification sorry um all that was blocked literally blocked blocked i rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection so now i'm in the point i have nowhere to work you know and god has given me you have no choice now but to be obedient but we can learn a lot from joshua god gives joshua the pep talk and he gives us the talk to I mean, we have the word to go by you know but somehow we still allow fear to interrupt what we're doing god tells joshua multiple times to be strong and courageous and also to be an obedient the enemy will try to cause us not to be obedient because the enemy has seeped and peeped into our future as well and he knows the end result so he tries everything he can to discourage us and to stop us from doing the will of god and a lot of times you know people say and i've said this too i don't really know the outcome i don't know the step by step god only tells me one thing and then what am i supposed to do with all the other steps listen the word just says obey <laughs> It says obey, obey. That is the number one thing. If we obey one step, each step God will continue to tell us what to do. We just have to say yes to that first thing. It's kind of like the show Manifest <laughs> and they couldn't do the next task until they were told, until they completed the task that was before them. They couldn't move forward until then. I really believe that's how God operates sometimes. Like, I just need you to say yes, my child. And I'm going to give you step by step by step by step instruction on what to do after that. And so in, in the book of Joshua, we see that he is obedient throughout the different tasks that God wants him to do. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't easy. It's not easy. Like sometimes I don't feel like filming or as of lately, creating content, Christian, you know, content and helping other people with their content. Sometimes I'm like, God, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. But he gives us the grace for it. He gives us the strategies for it. And so I really want to encourage you all. Um, so this, so this, so let's just jump down to verse 10 really quickly. Um so, so this is after, you know, God tells Joshua, do not be terrified. Verse 10, so Joshua ordered the officers of the people, go through the camp and tell the people, get your supplies ready. Three days from now, you will cross the Jordan here to go and, and take the possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you for your own. So it just sounds like Joshua was motivated right after that. Sometimes we need that motivation. God, I need you to send a word to me. 
and that's why it's consistent like even god said don't let the book of the law depart from your mouth that is why it's so important when god has given you a task to stay into the word of god people will try to derail you and that's why i don't tell everybody what i'm doing i don't even tell all my family members what i'm doing because it's not that i don't want advice it's not that it's that it's because god has given me a specific word and i know coming out my mouth it don't make sense <laughs> i know what you not working you're doing youtube full time i know it don't sound it doesn't sound normal <laughs> you know so a lot of times i don't tell family and friends things just because what god has told me is so sacred and sometimes i just have to do it and then let god like show the people you know and so maybe you're in this situation where you need motivation you need encouragement from god to get you through this task that he has assigned you to do i'm telling you he will do it saying in your word is extremely important um because the when we are confused a lot of times when the enemy tries to kind of sneak in and like try to throw us off track oh it's not gonna work out and tries to come into our spirit and trying to discourage us from believing in what the word of god says that's why the mind is a battlefield i say that all the time you gotta pray for your mind anoint your head with oil every day and you have don't let the book of don't let the bible depart from you even if you're stressed out and you're like god where are you that is not the time to run away <laughs> from the lord that is not the time to stop praying that is not the time to stop reading your bible that is not the time to stop going to your church or your small um bible group that is not the time you gotta keep pushing because the enemy wants us to be isolated and to be upset with god and the devil is a liar point blank period and so you have to stay keep the word in you do it afraid and um joyce meyer's book do it afraid joyce meyer wonderful book if you have not um heard of it or if you have heard of it and you've never read it i want to read a really quick snippet it says um and this is on page 19 sometimes all it takes to be courageous is simply to keep trying day after day Courage is not giving up no matter how long it takes to secure victory. I can't promise you that if you confront fear, it will go away in a day or even in a thousand days because it always shows up somewhere. But remember that freedom from fear doesn't mean the absence of its existence, but the refusal to let it control your decisions and actions. That's just the many stuff I have like outlined and all that. Um, even here in um, on page 62, we were reading Joshua chapter one. He, she says he was warning Joshua that fear would try to stop him from taking the promised land, but that if he would be courageous, no matter how he felt, it will bring great victory. And that's just powerful, y'all. Like no matter how you feel, you're going to be nervous. Almost everyone in the Bible was nervous. Look at Esther. She just pushed herself and in the king's room but and that was forbidden if the king didn't call for you you shouldn't be going in there she had to do it afraid for her people abraham was called out of his home he, he had to go i'm pretty sure it was never gonna like where am i going we in the desert fear is going to try to creep up it is but be confident in what god has told you god told us to be strong and courageous there is a reason why he kept saying that and those nine verses, I believe he said about three times to get it through his skull. Be strong and courageous in this hour. I am talking to myself. It is nerve wracking not knowing, you know, like how it's going to pan out. But I know what God told me. So what God told you, hang on to that. And be obedient. No matter how hard it is, you just got to be obedient. And it may be overwhelming even in the midst of being obedient. But I promise you, day by day, hour by hour, God is going to continue to reveal more and more to you as you keep going. And as you keep being obedient. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for all of the viewers out there, God, whoever is watching this, who may be going through similar things. Maybe they are going through a time where you have told them to do something and they are a little bit hesitant or they are very fearful. Um, help us to just remember to do it afraid, to do it scared, to do it annoyed, to do it crying, to do it confused, Lord, because your word will not return into us void, God. And I pray, Lord, that you will give us the spirit of courage, Lord, that you will give us a spirit of courage, God, and that you will give us a spirit of just strength to do what we need to do, God, in your word, God. There are many things that you have called us to do, and all it takes is for us to step out on faith. And small as a mustard seed, God. And we pray, Lord, right now, touch those who are living in fear. Maybe it's a relationship they need to get out of. Maybe it's a job that they need to walk away from. Maybe it's a job they need to go back to. Maybe it's some friends they need to let go. Maybe it's um, some habits they need to break away from, God. Lord, we just pray that they do it right now, God. Lord, we rebuke the enemy trying to install fear in their spirit, God. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we want to remember, God, to do it afraid. Be courageous, God. There is a blessing on the other side of this obedience, God. We just got to take the first step. We don't want to be a hindrance to ourselves anymore, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Right now, touch that person, God. And God, we pray that we have, we open our hearts and our ears and our, 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 our eyes, our spiritual vision for you. Because people will try to derail us. People will try to tell us to do the opposite of what you have told us. But we rebuke those people too in the name of Jesus. And we will continue to walk in faith. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We love you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all. I pray that you all have a wonderful week and be blessed.